Adaptability is one of those fantastic themes that I think could go into any one of the four leadership domains, but technically we put it into the relationship building domain. And that I think tells us a lot about it because it is about presence. It's about responsiveness. Um, if you read the long definition, you think you see things like living in the moment, like not necessarily uh, worrying too much about the future, but creating that future based on the present. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you don't have plans. It just means that your best plans are when you get to react to a change. And um, I have adaptability in my top five, uh, which probably made me uh, kind of calm in the fact that this was out of the norm. And I think uh, for, for people with adaptability, they're not quite as married to the norm, uh, but instead they can, they can stay calm and, and, and get a lot of clarity when things change. Um, you'll, you'll hear people talk about this overwhelming calmness that leaders with high adaptability have. And I was thinking about this, actually, as I was driving, I was listening to season one, uh, Kurt Liestfeld and Scott Wright were discussing adaptability, and, and they used the word calmness a lot. And I was trying to put myself in, in the shoes of somebody who didn't have adaptability and really wanting to get curious about understanding this. I almost feel like calm doesn't quite describe it is it's more than calmness, it is clarity. It is that chaos brings, or change, brings this amazing ability just to see clearly what the next step, what the most immediate step needs to be. Uh, adaptability is about dealing in the currency of urgency. Um, and if you think about it around that relationship building theme, it really is about being present to the people in the moment, regardless of what the plans were five years ago, regardless of where we're gonna be five years from now, Leaders with high adaptability really can respond to what people need in the moment that they need it. That means that they've got a really high situational awareness, but also quite a bit of emotional awareness, and I think some creativity that comes along with it. One of the things that Kurt mentioned in season one was um, he saw adaptability really easily falling over into the executing domain and look like that because uh, when, when everybody else wants to halt um, and, and you'll hear this from leaders or you'll help your, or hear this even polit in political statements when things kind of are presenting a challenge or aren't going right or when we need to figure things out. Many people's reaction is to stop everything until we've got it figured out. I think somebody with high adaptability doesn't see that need to stop because somebody with high adaptability can say we can continue and we can sort this out because we can focus on who we are, what we need and where we're going right now. In many ways, adaptability shortens the time span that leaders need to react. Um, I think about adding the word or urgently or presently to how you do everything else when you add adaptability to something. Um, in my personal life, I find that adaptability is one of those themes that complements my other themes just by sort of uh, accelerating the time frame. Um, so now that the downside of that can be um, in many ways, adaptability is about following because it's about responding. It's about um, responding to what's relevant and what's present, what's important in the moment. That can mean sometimes you're more interested in responding than you are preventing or sort of uh, preempting um, issues. It, but that also means that you can accept what change is. You can accept very quickly. Perhaps um, you think about people with high adaptability as just being early adopters because they um, see a barrier and a way to get around it. Uh, so it's, it's a fantastic theme when you think about it in that sense. Let's talk about perhaps on top of that, what would a leadership extension of adaptability look like? In many cases, folks with high adaptability deal well if they are changing course very often. So think about this as being somebody who'd be really great at being able to um, interact with one group of people and then jump into another project and then jump again into something else and really bend and flex and still be authentically present um, with lots of diverse groups of people. And that is a fantastic leadership trait to have. I think the trick to it in order to make it helpful to your followers is to know when you need people to know about your jumping and when you just need to be the one who jumps. So rather than taking all of your followers on this seemingly erratic journey. Uh, think about it as even you know, how you start your, your list of to-dos in the morning. You probably need five things at a time or five things within an hour. Uh, those people who you check in on, those maybe five different projects, will feel like they're the only one that you're focusing on if you let it be that way. Uh, so uh, I think a lot of the magic of adaptability and leadership is knowing that you need a little bit more change, a little bit more dynamic environment than other people do, and not 
causing your followers to go through that dynamic change um, if they're not the type of people who need that. Instead, it's just about being present and, and flexing your ability to be present. Speaking of adaptability, my computer just died along with all of my notes. <laughs> so I'm going to do the rest of this just from pure memory. But let's think about um, <laughs> what are some of the, those needs of followers that adaptability could truly speak to. Um, the first need that we talk about is uh, trust. So I think people with high adaptability can build trust by demonstrating uh, their urgency and their ability to focus on the moment. Um, I think sometimes adaptability gets, uh, uh, it's, it can sort of look aloof. It can look like, well, I don't really care about the future and so it doesn't matter. And in leadership, that's not something you wanna be able to, that's, that's not the message of adaptability that you want to um, exude. So think about, you can build trust by really helping people see why the present is important. Um, and I think a lot of times you have a better radar on the present than anybody else does. So if you are changing course and leading people through change, remind them purposefully why it's important to take a beat, to take a moment and take care of ourselves in the moment versus perhaps staying a course that maybe is no longer relevant. Um, people with high adaptability can build compassion by making sure that you can diversify your ability to be with others. Uh, you, you have this great high situational awareness that's probably going to tell you when different people need different things. Practice that. Um, explore that. I expand your, uh, your reach and your understanding of different people, different cultures, maybe even different industries, so that you expand your, uh, your, your toolkit or your, your arsenal and you're able to really moment with a lot of different people. Uh, we also talk about stability and I was fo focused on this on last night and I almost thought it was like a joke that we would have stability and adaptability in the same place and then it became incredibly clear that this is perhaps one of the most direct connections is between adaptability and stability because people with high adaptability can help you see where you're standing right now and can help you see how that can get you somewhere else. It is a little bit of a stretch. It's something you have to do on purpose. But if you've got high adaptability, I think ability by helping people see that one day at a time is an okay way to get to your goals. Um, I think if you uh, align your actions with your values, and I can't, can't wait to talk to Jamie because he also has belief, but talk about why any change in uh, the course of action or why any deviation from the plan is going to help you get to that ultimate goal. Um, if you're leading people who don't have adaptability, that can look like you're straying from what you said. But I think you can create a lot of stability just by purposefully talking about your values or the values of your organization before and during any sort of um, responsiveness to the present. So our last uh, needs of followers is hope. And I think that adaptability creates quite a bit of hope. And that when I think about an extension for, for leaders around hope, it really is just about praise and recognition in the moment. Adaptability gives you a lens on the world that other people just don't have. You can catch things while they're happening. I stayed in a great hotel last night and all the employees were wearing buttons that said, catch me at my best. Mm -hmm. And I could tell there was some sort of campaign going on about how we wanted to improve you know, positive feedback or recognition in the moment. I don't know that anybody's better at that than adaptability because you can stay pragmatic about it. You can stay kind of focused and practical about really what's going on but you're absolutely tuned in to the now more than anybody else is going to be. So um, practice your ability to give feedback, both positive and, and critical, and give it on purpose because that's going to build hope and help people connect their own personal experience to the larger mission. That's how we build uh, better organizations and, and better communities.